All right, so uh, Berto, you know, is having problems starting. Uh, it's a connection on the fuel pump, on the in-tank pump. I think there's a broke wire or something. Somewhere up in there by it, and I don't really want to mess with it right now. Uh, I want to just be able to move this around. So I'm putting this fuel saw in. This fuel saw, I think, broke twice already. This is my third time welding it up. It was in that 240, and the weight of the fuel, like, blew out the seams a couple times. It wasn't an ideal setup for it. Also, the 240's gone. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get this hooked into it. Kind of jerry-rig it real quick, uh, just so I can move it around. But uh, I'm going to run an inline fuel pump. Um, this braided line. Or, yeah, this AM line, just because that's what was on it. But uh, yeah, hopefully this fuel cell doesn't leak. I put water in it, it doesn't leak. I, w I had to weld it up again. But uh, yeah. Let's hope it goes better this time. And it has a bunch of AM fittings set around it to make it work with the 240, but the guy who bought the 240 is gonna run the stock tank, so he didn't need any of this shit. Also, I can't bring myself to cut a hole in this bed. Like, it's by no means perfect, but uh, I'm from New York, so every one of these is like rotted out when I was growing up. So I just can't cut a hole in it, even though I could find like 40 of these beds. But I just, I don't know, maybe I'm a bitch. But yeah, can't bring myself to cut a hole in it. And I don't really like these fuel cells. I have the drop down zone. Yeah, I get it. Like, oh, all the fuel run down there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I fucking get that. But the flat ones are going to be pretty much level. Maybe like a quarter of an inch at the max that it's not going to be. And then all the dirt can fucking sit in there and not go through the fuel pump. Or clog up your filter, you know. Because why would you change the fuel filter? Why would you run a fuel filter? Fuck them both. So yeah, I don't like those styles. But uh, apparently that's what they all go to now. Is that... But yeah, I'm going to get this hooked up. See if we can get her fired up. Alright, so this is the plug off the fuel pump. And this also goes to the fuel level. You know, all that shit that goes in the tank. So this is dark green and black. That's the power to the pump. I don't know if that kink had anything to do with it. You can see how bad that was kinked, but uh, the plug is also broke off the top, like the tang that holds this on. So it's pretty well beat. Um, and I mean, I'd prefer to run the stock tank, but I mean, it's lower and everything. You know, low center of gravity. Everyone's all worried about that, like they're fucking F1 or some shit. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll plug that in, see if it works now. I don't know. But yeah, that's where we're at with that. Looking a little deeper into it. Uh, you can see there, it got a little hot. So, uh, yeah, we're going to run an inline fuel pump so I don't burn the truck down. Because that light's on top of the tank. That's uh, no bueno. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then I'll be super cool race truck with fuel cell. But yeah. So dark green and then, I don't know if there's a black for the ground, probably. Uh, yeah, one of these gotta be the ground for it, probably. I don't know, maybe that gray with black, I'll look into it. But I know for a fact this is All the right, power. So I got this sweet ground set up. Just this thing drilled into it. Not even on the bolt that's drilled into the bed, but just this little swivel mount. Uh, got that twisted on that other wire. Sweet. All right, still runs. That's better than what I did before. I mean, and it looks badass, you know? If you want everyone to know you got some sweet fucking inline fuel filter. Here you go, this is it, man. Looking cool, looking cool. This is the stock fuel line going to the filter. I mean, it's pretty good, pretty, pretty safe, pretty trustworthy. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to pull that off, see if I got any fuel line to fit, and then run that other fuel line off the side of the bed, and down under here, and bingo bongo, got yourself a ripper. Alright, so all the fuel line that I have is not going to work, so I'm going to have to run to AutoZone tomorrow in the morning and get that. Um... But yeah, I'll probably just go straight off of here into that and then replace it in front of the filter. 
Um, see if maybe if they have a filter with that same orifice size, get a new filter. Um, yeah, and then I'll probably just do the wiring up better, like actually wire it. Uh, maybe just drill two little holes in the bed instead of cutting a big hole and run through, run the fuel line through. Um, and just put like pedestals on there, like underneath to raise it up so then that's not touching. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. Uh, stay tuned. All right, so we got my 516 fuel line. I got five feet of it. I actually got a little more just because this is what most shit uses to have. But I mean, look at that 90. Oh my god, it's so clean. I think it's actually 45. Yeah, it's, it's a bent 90. But yeah, fucking AN fittings. That fresh 90 on there, man. Dude, this is so cool. I'm mocking people, by the way. Don't take me seriously. Uh, yeah, I don't really like AN fittings, but uh, this. All this shit came with AN fittings, so I had to go to AN fittings to like adapt it. I just like hose barbs. See that? Look. Slide the hose on there. Bingo bongo. You put a hose clamp on. Bam. Good. And it's like rated to like a, I think it's rated to like 70 PSI without a clamp. I'm like 150 with a clamp. So more than anything you'll ever need. But it's not. It doesn't look like a race car, man. It's like a clip off steering wheel and shit like that. Dumb. Waste of money. Uh, but yeah, be smart. Just get barbs. Use your head, people. Like braided line. Why? Especially on like the suck side. Like you can make that out of like a plastic bag and be fine. All right, so can't remember if I filmed him running or not with this setup. But I just moved the fuel pump down there. Uh, looks like it's leaking a little gas out of where it comes up. Um, I don't know if it'll. Start. Starter's being a pain in the ass. I gotta hit it with a hammer every time. But it's on the trailer just because I built some ramps for this the other day. And I wanted to see if they'd hold up. And they're pretty shitty ramps, that's why I'm wondering. But they worked. Um, but yeah, Berto's back running. He's cobbed together. Look at that. Sweet. Also, hopefully, no one bitches about this being a cob job because obviously, I fucking know it is. You know? So just relax, people. It's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to drive it down the road like this. It's just to get it running and moving around my yard. So remember, calm down. 